You have entered the Chronix Rabbit Hole and Nightwish Army. Welcome back. We got a YouTube membership request from our good friend Kitty of the Wilds. Thank you so much. And your request is Sahara Live at Tampa from Nightwish. <laughs> Thank you so much for this request, Kitty. We have never heard this song itself, and this is from the album Dark Passion Play. I love a lot of the songs from there, so let's check it out.
Oh. That was Sahara, and it just started off with Tuamish just slaying it on oh the keyboard. God, yes. I just loved it, and I think he stood out for me um, so much in this song. And then I loved how they just switched to such a groovy, chuggy um, mm -hmm. rhythm after that really melodic beginning with that uh, the piano, obviously. And I just loved how they transitioned, and then once Floor came in to start singing, it was just such a groovy song. And you could tell they, they just loved performing this one. And Empu, when he came in with that solo right after she came in, it was just so many layers that came in. And this is why we love Nightwish, because you can see everyone standing out. Even Marco had a moment where you could just hear the bass line going really deep. And it was just so soulful. And um, Marco is definitely just such a performer. As you can see, once those cameras go on every member, they're ready to give that extra face turn and just to show their emotion and their enjoyment. And that's what I love about watching them perform live is just even seeing Floor dance when she's singing and even right before she's coming in, how she comes into the mic, I think is like so powerful. It's like Michael Jackson level of just how she can move without the mic. And that's part of the whole performance is what are you doing when you're not actually the one doing it? It's like the extra and they all are just such good extras for each other when those moments are on someone else specifically. Yeah. And Empu is probably, in my opinion, the best at that that I've seen that he's the first person I've seen that's really taken rest as a guitarist in songs where usually there's still always some rhythm going, but he's even OK just taking a complete rest and letting them have their rhythm moment. And then mm. it gets a bit more crazy after and then coming in yeah that's actually something that i wanted to mention about because tuamas writes the music for everything yeah and how he has utilized the power of a rest beat so well so well so well yeah but like even um it's taught when... me just by hearing it it's taught me so much yeah um like even when they had the whole band rest yeah and um then the drummer and then they all came in at once and they all <laughs> but it was nice that they focused in on the drummer with the camera kai. yeah on kai yeah because we were able to then like headbang with, with it them. and get into it instead of guessing yeah where a lot of times when you um utilize a rest like that do a whole yes. band or a false stop or something yeah it's like a guess Absolutely. i enjoyed being brought into it in the moment with the band you got to know the ride that you got to go yeah. up and then you got to see the drop at least it's the roller coaster <laughs> but you know the drop is coming yeah and um i, I so really like point, that though, he? he is so on point yeah and he looks so relaxed controlled. and controlled yeah. while he's going right but like his drumsticks are going so fast the camera can't even catch them yeah but yet he is so controlled so precise and yeah so fantastic musician yeah um and with that even with tuamas because he's writing everything how he's written those rest beats for um for empu and mm -hmm. marco yeah. and then to give them their bit of a shine yeah so that each person in the band sing. can sing can shine with can... whatever they're using <laughs> yeah exactly um something that i loved about this was just the vocalization yeah at the on that second half after that false stop with yeah. lore how she was just vocalizing the melody of the song um, I love that. I thought that was so powerful to just get into the music and then yeah. turning her voice because her voice, your voice is an instrument and um, just being able to use it as an instrument instead of lyrically. Um, I just I thought that was phenomenal. Yeah, it was a great song. Great choice. I love Dark Passion Play because mm -hmm. they are a little more grittier, a little darker. It mm -hmm. feels obviously from the the song um sahara i don't know what that connection is so maybe you guys can help me with that i didn't mm. quite catch out too many lyrics this time or there was anything. one repeating lyric that was um like a thousand yeah something. i kept hearing a thousand something and, but, <laughs> but that's just because it's easy to catch yeah it was easy <laughs> enough to catch but i wasn't uh, overly sure what that lyric specifically was because mm -hmm. I was so drawn in by the music. Yeah, it was just so that catchy. It was just so catchy. As yeah. you said, it was groovy. You want to like dance with it. Yeah. You can see Floor dancing mm -hmm. at the mic as she's singing because yeah. it just gets into you. It's a very soulful kind of song that just fills you up. So um, I just enjoyed being in the moment with the band with yeah. this one that I didn't actually pay as much attention to the lyrics, which I should have. 
um but i was just so into it and the piano that piano just got me right off the bat right and it just it had that magical whimsical like oh they just i just love their drops yeah oh my god they're so good at their drops actually Mm -hmm. and that's what i always want to remind myself because i keep thinking the other bands are really good at drops but then i just keep remembering how nightwish does it because like you're saying those pauses Mm -hmm. and those rests that tuamas provides for everyone Mm -hmm. it's just stunning and Kitty, thank you again for your um, Nightwish YouTube membership suggestion for this month. We really appreciated it. It helps us with doing our Nightwish New Year's as well. So thank you on that as well. We hope that the Nightwish Army enjoyed this song, though. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you have not, and uh, hit that notification bell if you want to make it to a premiere with us. And um, hopefully that you guys are at the premiere right now because Floor herself is coming soon live, and hopefully you guys will make it there too. But... Um, We are exiting out of the rabbit hole ourselves, folks. Peace and love, everyone. God bless y'all. And take care. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Enter the Chronicness. Special shout out to all of our patrons and YouTube members. We appreciate all of your support.